Today we're going to learn how to use Kami within your Google Classroom. Uh, the very first thing you'd need to do is to make sure that the Kami Chrome extension is installed. So right in my browser, I can type Kami Chrome extension and click enter. Should be the top one here where it says Kami for Google Chrome. If I click on that, you'll see that mine is already installed, but it would say add to Chrome. And then you would see this little icon here at the top that looks like a K. So you want to make sure that that is installed before you get started. Once you have that installed within my Google Classroom, I can go to the Classwork tab. And when I click Create, you're going to see there's an option now that says Kami Assignment. So I'll go ahead and click on that. And just like I would for any Google Classroom assignment, I'm going to go ahead and give it a name. We'll give this... We'll just call this Kami test and we can put our instructions if we want. Um, we can either take the file from our Google Drive uh, or in this case, I'll just grab a PDF from my desktop and I have it right here. It is called grade seven Kami sample. Um, you can also use you know, a Google Doc or a Google Slide to use within Kami as well, but uh, you can ed definitely edit PDFs. Just like any other Google Classroom assignment, you want to make a copy for each student in this case, and you do have some other options, and you have your normal Google Classroom options here. You can assign it to multiple classes. You can set the point total. Uh, you can set a due date. You can even put it under a specific topic. So for this one, I'll put it under math. And then you do have some feature restrictions options if you'd like. So you can turn these on or off so that students um, can either see them or not see them for, depending on the grade level, this might be something useful. Um, you can send Kami instructions to students or you can just show them how to do that. And I'll show you how to do this, do that in this video as well. And then you can add links for mobile devices, which you wouldn't need to worry about um, for most students. All right, so once I have that, I'll go ahead and click Assign. And so within Kami, we're gonna see that you have some options here. So I'm gonna open it in my Google Classroom. I'm gonna refresh real quick. And now we're gonna take a look at the student side. So we can see that the Kami assignment is now um, assigned. And so on the student end, we'll take a look here. And on the student side, I'm gonna go in my Google Classroom. I'll go ahead and click on Kami Test. And I'm gonna go, I can either click View Assignment or I can click right here on the assignment itself. And when I do that, you see a button here that says Open with Kami or under Open With, there's a button that says Annotate with Kami. Students can click either one. I'm gonna click Annotate with Kami. And then within the assignment, the student will now have the toolbar so that they can edit the PDF in this case. So you have, for example, your markup tools. We can use our highlighter if we want. So I can use that. I could highlight certain amount. So I highlight 25, maybe that's a key number. Um, you have a free hand highlighter. So that one's a little trickier. You have to have kind of a steady hand. Then you also have a box highlighter. So you can put a box around specific text and highlight it. Um, you can also use the comment tool so I can explain my thinking with a voice comment. So I can do that. So say, well, we'll hold that till the end after I finish my work. Um, you can put a text box here to explain your work. So you could say, Jenny needs to mow at least four lawns. And I'll explain my thinking on that here in a minute. I also have my drawing tool if I want to draw, uh, for example, a tape diagram, or maybe I want to use my shapes tool first to make my box, and then I can use my drawing tool to divide it into sections. So Jenny has 25 and she earns 10 for each lawn that she mows. Jenny wants to buy a concert ticket that costs $65. So we know that she already has 25. And then for each one, we have 25, 35, 45, 55, and then 65. So she would need to mow at least four lawns to get up to that 65 there. 
And so I can now explain my thinking with my comment. So I'm going to leave a voice comment here. And I need to make sure and click allow my microphone. So Jenny started with $25 and then she had to keep adding $10 for each lawn that she mowed. So 25, 35, 45, 55, 65. So she has, I know that she has to mow at least four lawns in order to get the $65 to go to the concert. So you can see now it's recorded on the side for 20 seconds. The student can delete it if they want. They can play it back to themselves. And once they are done annotating the document, in the upper right corner here, there's a turn in button. And you'll go ahead and click on that. And the student may need to wait several seconds so that they know it's been turned in. And then once that happens, we'll take a look back at the teacher side. And on the teacher side, I'll refresh it again. And we can see that now we have one person with their assignment turned in. So I'll go ahead and click on that. Land School 1 was the one that just, the student that just finished. So I'll click on that. And the one thing I do want to point out is right here where it says grade with Cami. You want to make sure that that's checked. So you can see you can't really do anything with that. And all the comments are um, kind of blanked out. So I want to click on the check mark so that it kind of integrates Cami within my Google Classroom. And then I can give the student feedback with my Google Classroom tools. So just like I would, I can add a private comment if I want. Um, and I can also give specific feedback to the students so that they are able to see it. And then I have access to their document now as well. So you can use some of the same features within Google Classroom to give feedback to your students. So, um, and then of course you can return it. These are all Google Classroom features, but you can see you also have access to um, the students' work. I could even give uh, voice comment feedback to my students about their work and I could return it and ask them maybe to show their work a little more explicitly. So you have plenty of options. You can use the Cami tools, you can use the Google Classroom tools. And so this is how you combine Cami within your Google Classroom. Thanks for watching this episode of the Curriculum Cafe. Click like and subscribe to join the cafe for more classroom tips from the TOA team.